What do you think about dogs and garlic? Many dog owners believe that garlic is bad for dog's health because it contains a compound called N-propyl disulfide, as well as small amounts of thiosulfate that when taken in large amounts, over a long period of time can lead to anemia. But many experts are saying that garlic is actually good for your dog's health when given in the right amount. New research is showing that garlic can actually be good for dogs. But of course, you can't just let your dog eat large amount of garlic. That's not what the experts are saying at all. It's all about the right amount of garlic that you give your dog because too much of anything is bad for you. Even minerals that you assume make you and your dog healthy can be detrimental in large daily amounts. The same goes with garlic and dogs. On some level, these things all have the potential to be toxic. It's possible to overdose on anything if you're really committed to it. Moderation is important. Here's a guide on the garlic level safe for dogs per day, based on a dog's weight, from the complete guide to natural health for dogs and cats by Dr. Pitcairn, 10 to 15 pounds, 0.5 clove, 20 to 40 pounds, 1 clove, 45 to 70 pounds, 2 cloves, 75 to 90 pounds, 2.5 cloves, 100 pounds and up, 3 cloves. Remember, not all dogs are created equal. Every dog has its own needs. If your dog has a pre-existing anemic condition or is set to go into surgery, then please don't give him any garlic. Also, puppies from 6 to 8 weeks of age don't start to reproduce new blood cells until after 6 to 8 week, so they should not be fed any amount. The reason why garlic is added to dog food and treats is because it has many health benefits. Here are just a few of the doggy garlic benefits, tick and flea repellent. It won't kill the fleas and ticks, but those little buggers don't like the taste of it. One sniff and they'll be making their way off your dog. Immune System Boost Garlic has proven to do wonders for dogs with suppressed immune systems and as well as those fighting cancer. It gives a boost to bloodstream cells that kill bad microbes and cancer cells. Liver Boost Garlic is known to have detoxifying effects, which can help the liver get rid of toxins from the body. You want your little furry friend's liver to stay strong and garlic is an excellent way of keeping that organ tough. Fights bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. Bacteria, virus, and fungi are no match for garlic. With its potent antimicrobial and antibiotic properties, it fights parasites and protozoan organisms as well. Lowers blood cholesterol and triglyceride. Mix the proper dose of uncooked garlic with your dog's food and it can help lower blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Cardiovascular boost. Wonderful in older and overweight dogs, garlic can prevent blood clots and reduce cholesterol levels and fat buildup in the arteries. Make sure to talk to your vet about giving your dog garlic. Remember, you should always work with your veterinarian when you are planning on introducing a new supplement to your dog's diet, even if it is totally natural garlic. You want to be sure that you are going to give the right amount for your dog's size and weight, as well as his overall health. It's also important to realize that garlic is capable of interacting with a lot of medications. If your dog is taking a prescription, make sure to talk to your veterinarian first. Also, if you start giving your dog garlic for the first time, watch for any signs that it might not be agreeing with your pet, as well as any signs that you have given him too much. If you start to notice symptoms like pale gums, nausea, vomiting, drooling, oral irritation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, lethargy, elevated respiratory rate, elevated heart rate, exercise intolerance, weakness, or collapse, contact your vet right away. These are all signs that you might have overdone it with your garlic dose for your dog and you should make sure that no significant problems have occurred.